Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Before we start this one off, I would just like to say a massive thank you to over a thousand of you guys that decided to subscribe yesterday. Thank you very much. Also, very quickly, I would just like to mention that the progress in the videos is always going to be a little bit behind the actual progress of the account. For example, as I'm editing this video, there is over half of the next video already completed. Just to put it in perspective, I really do hope you guys will enjoy this one. I think it's really good. I'm currently editing episode number three for you guys and the friends in Leech BA decided that they're gonna take me along and I can pretty much leech my own torso. If you guys wish to do the same, I'll leave their Discord in the description. But that's gonna be lovely. Torso is gonna be huge at this point in the game. Later on, we're obviously gonna be going for the Bandos chestplate and whatnot. But for now, when we continue on with Slayer, the torso is going to be huge. And it is also going to be a hard task, I believe, alongside with just killing the Pan and Squin. So we're gonna get a bunch of points for just doing absolutely nothing. And you know what? That's just about perfect. The boys have gone and done it. Mad man. Lovely. Thank you so much, boys. Right, lovely. Okay, so we got enough points. And let's just go ahead and buy ourselves the tour. So bad. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Get rewards. And let's not misclick. Pen and torso. And accept. Would you look at that? Oh my god. 100 points for it. We look like an absolute beast. Sick, all the way up to 60 Hunter already. Uh, just doing my, you know, I, I don't really do this as much as I should. I should do them every hour. But I do them, let's say, every two, maybe every three hours or something like that. But the seeds, man, they are perfect. Right, Um, gonna do a couple more farm runs, but I'm also gonna need to chop more maples because I ran out of them, so... All right, it is time to do some diaries. First one, Turbo Simple. We're making some bread. Right, there we go. Wall B is defeated for 50 points. I think I just need to slay a cave bug real quick. And that should be easy tasks done as well. So he should be hooking us up with a good old lamp right here. We're going to be using this lamp over on Herblor once again. Now, the future lamps could maybe be used for rune crafting because that one's going to be really hard to train for me. All right, lovely. We caught a fish and that's a diary completed. We've done easy candering as well. I believe this might be the very last lamp I'm putting into Herblor for now at least. Uh, because I want to start putting them into rune crafting. I think rune crafting might be my biggest struggle. Uh, let's rub this, put it in the herb. Now I can make super attacks, prayer potions, super strength potions, anything you can imagine. I can probably do it. So that's very solid. And let's do RD tasks. For that though, I need to go thieve. Uh, back to hand members, I guess. I'm going to do the clue scrolls if I get any. And I need to get a rusty sword. Going on a fishing trawler is the last task I have left in the RD, which is very solid because I think that's it, right? Yeah, so I can, what, do I just log out or can I even log out? Can I teleport away from this? For some reason, <laughs> I banked all of my stuff and now I'm stuck. So if I go areas, canarin, canderin and teleport, will this work? Right, here we go. We got ourselves an RD Cloak number one. It's pretty solid to just have number one, but number two would be even better. And as promised earlier, let's chug the experience into rune crafting now. 30,000 experience, up to 41. That should be base 40 stats. For my next task, I'll grab myself a task of moss giants until I get a mossy key. And we're gonna kill a Briofta, which is gonna be 50 task. And you know what? I'll be training Slayer at the same time, so cannot say no to that. I gave in. I'm not going for 99 strength because if I get to 100 combat, that's a very easy task. And honestly, the, I, I'll get like 80 attack in almost no time. And 100 combat is so simple that I kind of feel getting stats like faster is better than pushing one all the way to 99. So I didn't voice Craig there, by the way. Um, Yeah, uh, the decision has been made. We're going for 100 combat ASAP. Let's go, Mossiki boys. I killed... A lot of them. Okay, I killed... Uh, it doesn't... I can't actually tell because I've killed a bunch of them on my main and it combines the drops for some reason. The task should be completed and that's a big one. I mean, not even... Wait, what? That's only 50. I thought it would be a bit more, but 50 is 50. It's, it was simple as heck. Another casket. Can we get our first unique? It would be a task and... No. No, we definitely cannot. 
I need to hire a bank cleaning services. Look at this mess. Oh my. Oh my. Oof. What the fuck? What? It, what? Why is that? Yo. I don't know, man. Okay, I'll be killing some earth wizards, trying to get myself a earth talisman so I can do Varrock easy diaries because now I'm at a point where I want to complete, um, well, all the easy ta tasks. So I'll complete the Gertrude's cat. I already have everything in the inventory and easy Darok Vyrie. Did I just say easy Darok Vyrie? What is wrong with me? Three minutes. It's all it took to get the earth talisman. Very nice. Let's do both of the tasks. Here we go, I jump over this and then the Varrock Diaries are done. Once again, I'll chug the XP probably into rune crafting, but that's 10 points there. I also want to... Wait, that's an achievement and a task. That's crazy. Or, no, wait. Uh, eh? Actually? Never mind. Right, let's go cooking his guild, finish Gertrude's cat. There we go, 10 points. Alrighty then, Mr. Toby. What is up, buddy? Let's go ahead and put this into rune crafting once again. Uh, okay, next thing on the list of things that we want to do, we are going to go ahead and do uh, Karamja easy tasks. Look at this. All of this will be done pretty simply. Well, just going down the Karamja list, and one was to enter the Brimhaven dungeon, another is to defeat a greater demon. Another one is to take a task from Duradel. I have no idea what I'm gonna take, but I have to take a task. There we go, catch a monkfish, 100 points, lovely. Right now I'm kinda doing both, just completing the tasks and also doing the task to unlock the new relic. Well, I wanted to go for 60 agility arena tickets, but let's just say my agility level is maybe a bit too low and also I was... Uh, well, I was just getting caught a lot and uh, then I didn't bring food, so I'm basically just an idiot. But uh, we're gonna buy one Snapdragon over here, that will be the task, lovely. And we're also gonna spend the remaining 10 on some experience. No idea how much that is gonna be. 39,000, I get two levels. We just got 75 wood cutting, and that means we can now chop magic trees. There is a task of 75 magic trees. Now, because I have the relic, I can only go for about 30, well, half of 75. So that's what I'm going to do right now while I'm just relaxing, chilling. Uh, it's going to take me a while for sure, but I think it's going to be worth it. And even if it's not, eventually we would want to do this task anyways. Well... That was 100 points, and you can look at the timer, I don't really know how long that took, because I was AFK, but hey, that's lovely, and that was really easy. And that is a leak task, lovely. Fletching 50 maple longbows unfinished, 40 base stats. I'm keeping it a bit on the low here, because people are sleeping, but my plan is pretty simple right now. 52 herb lore, uh, just making some potions and whatnot, and I will actually take a couple of tasks of the Tsar. If I get lucky, because our drop chances are increased, I can get some really cool items there that will basically allow me to get 100 free points. We're gonna flip it a little bit, and at the same time, I'll work towards 100 combat, which is also a task that's gonna give me a lot of points, so I can beat basically 200 points almost very quickly if I get a little bit lucky. It is what it is. From this corner, from other corner, all the way to this corner, and I was like one second off, I couldn't make it. And that's 150 laps. Well, this one took me an entire hour to get, but it's a huge one. It's also very late, and I also... Well, it's basically morning at this point, and uh, I already have the mask, and now we just search. 
uh, rogue equipment and we take top 100 points was it worth it no but will it be worth it yeah when i'm thieving to 99 this is gonna be sick now i gotta start editing though so we are gonna go fishing if you guys are enjoying the daily uploads, consider giving them a like and also consider subscribing. I'm on my way to 100k and it would mean a world to me if we would get it. Well, if you ever wondered how much XP I get while editing, I put everything on screen. I'm currently editing episode number 3, you're currently watching episode number 4. And yeah, over a mil XP an hour easily. Like just while I'm editing, like I'm barely paying any attention to this. This place is sick. Alright, since I was basically halfway done with level 90 fishing, I decided I'm gonna stay here until 90. That's gonna be an elite task and that is going to give us a lot of points. After that, I'll do this clue and I have a whole list of tasks that I wanna do. I wanna unlock the new relic basically and I also wanna push towards my new area. So that's pretty much the goals and uh, yeah, let's get this fishing level. There it is, level 90 fishing, that's 250 points. And that makes us less than 1,000 points away from the very next relic if this would update. But it doesn't seem to update. There it is. Beautiful. Right, let's do a bunch of tasks. Well, that's another beginner casket. Surely I'll get a unique here. Oh, there it is. A big one as well. Monk's robe tea. Boom. Hell yeah. Wonderful. Nice. That was a task, a very simple one as well. Sick. All right. Our very first three. Let's see the experience and 14,000. Wow. Hespori. Let's go ahead and do some Hespori, shall we? Well, unfortunately, we cannot. Um, do I even keep this? I mean, it's completely useless, but it could be interesting for the bank. 45 farming should easily get more. I am going to do full farm run on every single tree. I actually do not want to pay 200 coins for it to be removed. So I'm removing it manually. Uh, there we go. There we go. Hey, that's 46. Uh, I think it's actually faster for me to do areas and just teleport to Karamja uh, for the next tree. And then uh, one is next to the three gnome stronghold. So we'll do that one as well. Another task, I believe, is to check a tree here. Luckily, this one also didn't die. Up to 47 farming now. Actually, 48 after I pick this apple. Sick. Keep going. Maybe we even get to 50. Another simple task. There we go. 50 points. Hey, there we go. That was simple. Mole completed. 50 points. I'm actually just going to drop some swordfish to pick this up because why not? Wait, did I just get a hundred? Hundred? What? Hundred? I don't know. Well, that speeds the mining thing up a bit. I can smell those later. There we go. 50 points for defeating a fossil wyvern. And I cannot do the skeletal wyvern because I don't have the level yet. So I might return to regular slayer for a bit. There we go. Still dragon. Completed. Ooh, we get a rune full helm. Wait, that's actually huge. Nice. No longer do we need the man helm. And you know what? The steel bars, they're actually more valuable than a swordfish to me. I'm gonna be honest. Why is my guy just running back like a baboon? Perfect. Lovely. That's sick. Yo. No way. Obsidian cape. Let's go. 100 points. I just came here to finish the task. I was like, this shit ain't worth doing on my level. I would probably need like a black mask at least. And piety maybe. But never mind. Changed my mind. That's the easiest 100 points I ever got. What's the difference between this and that? I'm just looking at melee stats, by the way, and it seems like this one has a bit of prayer bonus over this one when it comes to melee. Everything else doesn't matter, but this one looks cooler, so we are rocking the obby cape. No, not again. Not two obsidian capes. Anything else, man, I would get a hundred more points. Oh, no. Well... At least I got some obby capes, am I right? Um, I am going to go ahead and just do some simple, I think, moss giant tasks. Basically, I'm trying to find the fast tasks that are right next to Slayer Masters right now. The reason for that is very simple. Uh, I basically need to bake 300 points so I can go ahead and unlock the broader fletching as well. I got an accidental task of high alking an item and now our total points are over 7, well, 7,000 exactly. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, getting myself more Mosh Giants because they're very fast, very AFK, they drop some good stuff as well. Uh, so, and they're right next to the Slayer Master. 
But on top of that, I can also go rewards and I need to buy bigger and better. There it is. Confirm that and that's a 50 extra points. We're so close. After I'm done with 72 Slayer, I can also kill a Vyvern. Uh, and that's gonna be 50 points. And then we can complete like Death to the Dorgashun and also get some very easy points there. So we are extremely close to the next relic. And when we get the next relic, oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Firstly, let's open this beginner casket that we got from Mosh Giants for another shortbow. That's the second time I got the just shortbow with nothing else. I guess it's more common than I thought. Well, let's see if this is going to be a massive waste of time. I don't think it will be because um, because I think some of the drops might actually be good here. Let's see. And look how quickly I kill it. Like, I don't even need an axe. I brought an axe just in case, but... Um, so the first drop already, look. Rune Medium Helm and... Two Rune Medium Helms. Oh, do I do beginner clue every time? I think I do it. I think I do it. Dude, that's huge. That's that's so good. Casket? Yes! No way! Nice! Uh, the reason why I'm so excited is because now I have Mug Top T and Mug Rob Bottom T. Lovely, look at that. Um, I don't even get a task for that. I think the next milestone is five uniques, I believe. Yo, but look at that. This is gonna be my tab where I collect like all the cool stuff, you know? Look at this. Boom, okay. Don't we look like an absolute beast or what? My god, I love it. Right, kill count number two, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, yes, rune plate legs. Nice, look at that. Okay, now we look like a beast. Yes, I'm so happy. Right, let's go do that real quick. Yes! Well, that's the first time we're dropping a beginner clue. I cannot access the al -Karid mine, unfortunately. Uh, let's do two more kills. I am so happy I decided to kill Briofta. I didn't know it basically drops these good items. Like, look at this. You see this? We're actually looking pretty solid. The upgrade would be like a black mask when we unlock Mauritania. Better gloves when uh, I feel like questing Mithril gloves, for example. But yo, it's coming together. I'm pretty happy. I cannot complain. Right, give me another rune item and I am a very, very happy gamer. Right, let's see what do we get here. Yes, rune longsword. I mean, okay, it's not that great, right? But look at the cash stack. It's going up and up and up. Wonderful. Casket time. Give me unique. Oh, it cocked. What? I got poisoned at the same tick. What is this? <laughs> There we go. Another one. What do we get for the last one over here? And rune sword. Two rune sword. Oh my yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Look at the cash tag, boys. Sick. I'm gonna finish the task of these, and then we go on and do other tasks. Lovely. Here we go. 72 slayer, meaning that we can now kill a wyvern. Gotta finish this task though. I am poisoned. Let's utilize. Rapid heal. Let's see if that does anything. Right, I technically left myself two more moss giants, so I can do both of these mossy keys. After that, we can kill a skeletal wyvern. Things are coming together. The next relic is almost here. Let's go ahead and do a couple more beginner caskets because I will get them from the moss giants themselves. I also got a bunch of seeds, got a couple gnats. This was worth it. I came here a broke man and now we are... Well, still broke, but not as broke, okay? So it's pretty good. All right, give me more money. Any rune items, and I am happy. What do we got? What do we got, buddy? Come on. Nature runes, how many? 100. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. All righty then. First thing, beginner clue scroll. Wizard's head will take it. Second thing, I actually want to go to Xenaris real quick. Buy myself a... Dragon Dagger there and do a couple of tasks or just one task because I don't have Cosmic Talisman, do I? know. So we're just gonna do the agility task. I think you either need a gold bar to enter the place or you might need a diamond. I'm not sure. One of these items I know you need to enter the place and the DDS costs 30k. We'll take it. It's gonna be awesome. All right, this task right here, I think it requires 66 agility. I could be right. I could be wrong. You never know, but... Uh... Oh, how much am I gonna get? Okay, we're good. Look at this, 100 points. Ho-ho, lovely, lovely. 
All right, let's see. Trading tax is one diamond. See, I knew it kind of. I wasn't sure, but there we go. All right, uh, we are going to go over here, trade our good old friend Yukat, and we're going to buy a DDS. Would you look at that? Wonderful. Nice. Let's go do one more kill, and then we force for this relic. I have so many tasks that are so easy to do. We'll be right done, but I got to be distracted with this bossy keys, and you know what? I am not regretting it one single bit. Okay, it's time. It's time to put it to the test. Our good old DDS with attack speed relic. Let's go. Spec number one, two, three. My god, I can almost not even click that fast. That's crazy, no? Oh man, I'm loving it. Right, give me more cash. Perfect, look at that. 75 points because I completed 20 in a row and we get... Another mossy key. What? Okay, I, you know what? I'm just gonna go out and then fuck it, dude. Like, no, actually, I'll keep it in the bank. Let's do this. Draenor Village Market. Ugh, it's so annoying to go to Draenor because you kind of need to run through Rumbli Rumblage. <laughs> you need to run through Lumbridge in order to get there. Um, Until I have a glory, this is my best way to get there. And uh, yeah, I don't like it. I'm trying to figure out if I'm a baboon and there is a faster way to reach Draenor. Maybe if I teleported to Wizard's Tower. Anyways. Hans, my boy. Oh, that's why I love these teleports. People like to teleport back, but I like to teleport everywhere. There we go. Beginner cast. Bruh. Not again. <laughs> Eight coins. Eight coins. Eight. <laughs> but yeah. Wasn't exactly the fastest kill, but... It was a task. So, we'll take it. And look at these magic logs. Not bad. You see this inventory? Which quest am I doing? Alright, there we go. Goblin Diplomacy, first one on the list. Completed. We get a gold bar. Uh, 1000, I guess, crafting XP. Not too bad, let's continue. Alright, here we go. 50 point task for Lost Tribe. Oh wow, that quest was really easy. Uh, we got a Ring of Life, we got a 3k mining XP. But most importantly, we can do Death to the Dorgeshun. And with that, we can unlock a bunch more points as well. So, uh, that's 250. I think I can just start the quest, but I need to get full ham outfit. So before we do that, let's just quickly go finish the other task, which is to get a Torgeshun crossbow, I believe. Yeah, uh, basically, as soon as I finish the next quest, we're done. That's sick. But here we are in the mines. We trade this feller, and honestly, uh, the bolts are very cheap and very good ammunition. So we're going to take a few hundred of these uh, because... I can use these bolts when I want to AFK and edit on crabs, for example, when I'll be pushing for, I don't know, like, let's say 70 range or something. But there we go. 50 points for that one. I figure while I'm trying to get this done and if I get clue scrolls, I might as well do them if I can, because, you know, there are tasks that require me to do so. So let's go ahead and do it. Things like that is why I'm actually really happy I didn't take the clue relic. I mean, I can only unlock this song is fastidious, so I can't even do an easy clue. Like, what? You're trolling. Alright, I have never tried this, but I brought a full rogue outfit over here, and let's see if that changes anything. Yeah, I get double the loot. That's pretty solid. <laughs> However, I might need to be dropping some stuff and whatnot, but we'll figure it out. First easy casket completed, and that's gonna also be a task. Nothing good for the loot. Oh, never mind. Look, this red fire lighters, this clue might seem bad, right? But watch this. If I grab out a log from my bank, and that's apparently a unique as well, so that's two tasks there. I color... How do I color the log? Maybe I need different type of logs? Perhaps I just need... What? Oh, regular logs, maybe. Okay, so it colored it into red, and then if I burn it, that should be another task. So, all in all, that completed three tasks. That was worth it. My god, finally, holy shit, I got half of a thieving level trying to get this damn ham logo, man, god, right, death to the show, death to the Dorgeshun, and then we will be done with the new relic. Alright, a good old 18 minute quest, death to the Dorgeshun, we uh, kill the Sigmund, and there it is, a little bit of experience, 50 points, but most importantly, this allows us to unlock a bunch of things, uh, a bunch of more points inside this city. And that will be definitely enough for a new relic, which is sick. Firstly, let's pickpocket this cave goblin. 
And there we go, pickpocket a bullseye lantern, and that's not all. We light the bullseye lantern, another 50 points, and we are 20 away. However, there is one more in this little area that we could do. That will give me actually 100 points, because it's pretty hard to do apparently, but it's actually very simple. Uh, it just requires a lot of thieving. So, we're basically done at this point, but let's unlock the chest as well. Alright, we're gonna attempt to kill a demonic gorilla right now for the last task because it gives you a hundred points and I didn't actually have lockpick to do the other task that I originally wanted to do. This is all the food I have. I don't have prayer potions, don't got anything else, so we're just gonna wing it and hopefully we can do it with 45 range in the Dorkish and crossbow, my god. Come on, one hit. There it is, we did it. We did it and complete, I mean, kill demonic gorilla. Oh my god, it took so long. But we did it. Easy. It was not even hard. It just range never hit. It took me five minutes, by the way. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. Which relic am I going to unlock? We have the Botanist. Uh, farming cycles occur every one minute instead of five minutes. Resource gathered from farming are multiplied by two. Mixing potions always result in four those potions, and stats boosted above their base level will no longer drain back down over time. I don't care about it, I'll be honest, I don't give a fuck about this one. What about equilibrium? Each time you gain experience, you gain additional experience, equal to 10% of your total level. That's spicy. Additional XP given by this relic is not multiplied by your league's XP multiplier. Eh. And then, if chosen with the Production Master Relic, each item process will trigger this effect. And the drops from some sources are three times as common. Guys, we go Bandos, we get the drops. Man, it's gonna be fun. But, that's not it. Inferno Gathering, boys. This is the synergy with our Endless Harvest. That's what I said in the episode 1. This is what we want. And believe it or not, people might think this actually isn't efficient. But this is very, very efficient relic. So many tasks that you passively do while you use it. But let me quickly tell you what it does. Upon selecting this relic, you will receive a set of Trailblazer tools, which can be used with no requirements. And these tools will function on pair with crystal tools. So you get a level 1 requirement, tier 70 gear for all woodcutting, mining and fishing. So, and on top of that, any ore you mine will be smelted into a bar. We'll be testing this in the next video, but if I mine a mithril ore, I'm expecting to get a bar. If I'm mining a runite ore, I'm expecting to get a bar. That is so huge. You guys realize how huge that is? And that is not all. You also get smithing XP. I can power mine iron and get 99 smithing at the same time? What? That's perfect. Like, that's so good, you know what I mean? So, if this works as I read it, this will be crazy. On top of that, any fish caught with a Trailblazer Harpoon will be cooked. Hello? Free 99 cooking? And the cooking XP is given, so I'm gonna go for 25 mil fishing easily, and I'm gonna get 25 mil cooking on top of that, without even trying. How good is that? That's like free few thousand points there. And then regardless of the cooking level, this will work even when fish that don't require a harpoon to be caught, if the Trailblazer harpoon is equipped or in your inventory. When I'm cooking current ones, which is what I'm gonna do very soon, I'm also gonna be, I mean, when I'm fishing buns, I'm also gonna be cooking them, so I'll basically be doing two tasks every time, so one task is, is catch 100 carambuans, I'll be finishing two tasks doing that one task. On top of that, any logs chopped in the, with the Trailblazer axe will also be burned, so I'm gonna chop some willows, next thing you know I'll be 99 fire making. You guys see what I mean with this relic, this one is huge. As this relic gives you an item, it must be unlocked at the bank. Ladies and gentlemen, Infernal Gathering will be unlocked. Confirm. Look at it. Yes. In Trailblazer Pickaxe, Trailblazer Axe, and Trailblazer Harpoon. Let's wield each one of those. God damn, they look sick. Perfect. Right, with that being said, we'll be ending the video over here. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe. Because in the next video, we are putting this to the test. Have fun everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow.